guys welcome to code decode so in the previous video we have seen one of the oops concepts that is inheritance and its types with an example in theoretical way so today let's implement this oops concept with real world entities in java world so have you seen this dog initially when we were trying to have some knowledge on variables and all so this was the dog class right and with the single inheritance that the type i have already discussed with you uh, with an example of an animal and a dog right so this is the dog which we have already implemented now we have discussed that a uh, dog is is a type of an animal so what inheritance is inheritance is an is a relationship between two objects so i have given you an example of an animal and a dog with say with, with the fact that a dog is an animal so let's start coding this single inheritance in our java code so let's create an animal class first this is how you create an animal class simple animal class when i open this class it's empty so what i have said that an animal have can have two properties the first is int eyes and they always animal have two eyes and int legs animals usually have four legs as of now we can modify this property later on also so as of now understand that this is one object uh, this is one class animal this is one class dog and with single inheritance uh, as i have already told you in single inheritance one class extends another class to get and reuse all its properties and methods so what i'll do here is i'll use an extends keyword i've already told how it extends keyword words what are these terminologies parent class base class subclass child class extends keyword reusability already in the previous video if you haven't seen that i'll give you a link in the description bar please go there and check that out currently i'll just give you an uh, programmatic explanation of the same thing so uh, according to this a dog class extends an animal class i'll use auto import so now i have implemented my single inheritance i have created an animal class and i have created my dog class and dog extends animal because dog is an animal so i have implemented inheritance single inheritance here now how would i test it so it says that the if dog has already implemented and extended this animal class then it will have all the properties that animal class has so animal has eyes as two and legs as four the two properties so let me do one thing uh, if i create an object of this dog which i have already created in my main class and if i try to print the property of an animal which is also being extended in dog class but it is not written there it is internally available so if i say tommy dot now i have eyes option right so it should print two so for your clarity i'll say dog has plus eyes just for your clarity i'm appending some string so that you can understand and now i'll do right click run as java application it says that dog has two eyes so where this two is coming if tommy which is a dog class an object of a dog class from where is it getting the eyes variable it doesn't have it here so it is getting it from this animal class it has an eyes here so this is the benefit of inheritance this increases your code reusability so this was all about single inheritance let's implement multiple inheritance or multi level inheritance first so in multi level inheritance i have told you that there are uh, child uh, cl multiple child classes and multiple parent classes which creates a hierarchy which uh, one below the other so one class can be a parent of an, uh, one uh, class and can be a child of another class so i've given you an example of animal dog and labrador so animal is the parent class dog is the child of animal like i have already told you here and labrador is a special kind of dog so it is a child of dog class so here in this multi 
level inheritance dog behaves as a child for animal and a parent for labrador so let's implement multi level inheritance now i'll create one more class right click new class and the name will be lab r a t o r so it says that it have it will it will have all the capabilities of a dog in an animal so i'm not going to uh, tell you uh, or I'm, i'm not going to write any of the properties of animal class that is eyes or legs and none of the properties like it, what is its breed what is its color it barks i won't uh, like explain anything here i'll just put one thing which is the special capability of labrador so string special capab special capability which is say athletic i'll save this Sorry. Now, this particular class has a special capability of being athletic, right? So, to make this a child of dog, what I will do? I will do extends dog class. So, by doing this, I have created a multi-level inheritance. How? This is an animal which is a parent class. This is dog which is a pair which is a, which is a child of animal class. So dog is a child for animal, and dog is a parent for Labrador. So this is how my dog class, which is a single class, can behave as a child of animal class because it extends it, and a parent of Labrador because it is being extended by Labrador. So how do you test this? multi level inheritance so if i make an object of this class and if i try to print the property of animal or dog it should print both so even if i don't have an legs or eyes here or i don't have any of the property of eating barking or wagging a tail it will have that so let's test it i'll remove this and i'll create an object of labrador okay to new labrador and i will try to print the eyes and i'll print labrador has so it will prove that my labrador has two eyes but this code was not written there this is the benefit of using inheritance you don't have to write the code again and again you can use it wherever wherever you want in the child class now it has eyes fine but what about the what about the capability of uh, barking which every dog has so i'll print it here system dot out dot print ln labrador dot barking and remember i was able to call this uh, just without any parenthesis because it was variable but this is the method so i'll use this and i don't need this print ln also because i already have print ln there so if you can see in the barking i already have system dot out dot print ln it it returns void so there is of no use of printing anything here i can just call my method like this i'll remove this console for you there is nothing here so let me run this application and it says that labrador has two eyes and dog barks so with labrador object i have implemented the property of dog which is actually nothing but a parent of child uh, labrador is a child of this parent class dog so this is how you implement multi level inheritance now the third uh, thing which i have told you is hierarchical inheritance in hierarchical what happens is there is one child and multi one parent and multiple child classes i have given an example of an animal a dog fish and frog so let me make this Uh, implement this hierarchical for you so i already have an animal class this is an independent class which is parent of uh, already an animal which is a dog class so i already have animal and dog class now i have to create two more classes similar to this i'll create fish which is an animal but 
I'll remove these legs because they have fins. So as of now, my according to this uh, application, animal has two eyes, which is a common feature for all the animals, being it dog, fish or frog. So fish has something uh, special in it, which is a method which is public can swim and it returns nothing okay and since it's a method i'll start it and i'll say see so and fishes can swim and fish has two eyes also so how do you implement that by extending my animal class so by default sorry extending but the keyword is extends okay so this is how i made fish child of animal class and i'll create one more object for you which is frog and frog has again a special method i'll copy from fish and what is a special capability of a frog that it is amphibian special property and what is that special property that frog is is an amphibian animal it's a type of animal which can live both on land and water so i have made my dog child of animal i have made my fish child of animal how will i make frog a child a child of animal same like this i'll extend it with a frog uh, with an animal class so this is how i implemented hierarchical in uh, hierarchical inheritance how by making animal as a parent class and making fish frog and dog their child so this is how you implement hierarchical inheritance the fourth type of inheritance is hybrid inheritance what happens in hybrid in inheritance is you have one parent multiple sides and the relationship between these are the combination of the previous type of inheritances for example i can have single and hierarchical combination which is a hybrid inheritance so if you can see it here what i have created in this whole class is hierarchical already a hybrid already why because i have created an animal class which is a parent class i have created dog fish and frog which are the child of parent uh, animal so how uh, what did i implement here i have implemented hierarchical inheritance and i have created a labrador also so labrador is a child of dog so the relationship between dog and labrador is single inheritance and the relationship between animal dog fish and frog is hierarchical inheritance so what all these animal dog fish frog and labrador makes is a hybrid inheritance which is mix of the different types of inheritance so these were all inheritance which were actually acceptable in java but there is one more type of inheritance i have already told you in the previous lecture which is multiple inheritance which is not allowed in java because of the complexity issues to make the language simple they have ignored multiple inheritance and they they actually does not allow you to create multiple inheritance so what multiple inheritance is i'll tell you here and how java reacts to it i'll tell you here so i create a class called as terrestrial animal okay and what is the special property that the terrestrial animals li live only in water only in oh sorry only on land so the terrestrial animals have a special property that they lives only on land i'll create one more class which is aquatic animal i've created this class and what is the special property similar to terrestrial animal that they live only on only in water
fine. Only on land and they live only in water. But frog has a special property of living on both. It's an amphibian animal. They can live on both land and water. Fine. So till now it was so good so far because I have made frog an animal only. But in multiple inheritance I have given you an example that this property of living both in land and water is actually child of terrestrial which can live only on land and a child of aquatic animal which can live only on water. So it's a special type of animal. So I'll remove animal. And I'll try to make it child of two classes, which is terrestrial animal and aquatic animal, both. So how will I do that? I can extend terrestrial animal and can I extend it with aquatic animal so that it can have both the properties? So can I put comma and this? But what happens here is it gives me an error. Delete this extends keyword or complete this block with this or a class body annotation as an issue. So why if I'm removing this part, this aquatic animal thing and I'm not doing multiple inheritance, it is as good as it was previously. It was like it, there was no compile time error. But as soon as I try to make the frog child of two classes, terrestrial animal and aquatic animal, my compiler starts like loudly saying that just remove this because multiple inheritance is not allowed in Java and compiler knows it. That is why you are getting this error and hence the multiple inheritance is not allowed. But this is not the end in Java. You can implement multiple interfaces and this is how you can achieve multiple inheritance in Java also. So very soon when I will be discussing about the inheritance in Java, I will tell you how we can overcome this issue of using the properties from different classes by implementing different interfaces for the same classes and extending or implementing the two or different uh, in interfaces with comma separated ways. So stay tuned for such videos. And this was all about inheritance and the implementation of the OOPS concept inheritance. Please like and subscribe to this channel for more such videos. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.